Hunting as a family is more than just a pursuit. It's about creating unforgettable memories and embarking on adventures together. Each hunt weaves its own story, blending sheer excitement and joy with the unpredicted. These days of field become legendary tales, etched against the backdrop of Wyoming's rugged landscapes. It is here that we find the essence of our family, the bond with our mules and horses, and the rugged terrain that we explore together while on the hunt. This elk hunt is special. Join us as we pay tribute to our beloved mule Hank, marking the end of an era and celebration of a remarkable life lived. So saddle up and ride with us as we remember Hank's incredible legacy and his last pack out. And so the pre-hunt checklist kicks off. When you're diving into a DIY hunt, forgetting something can only lead to one person to blame, yourself. Or in my case, I could blame my dad. Okay, we got two pack saddles. We got two last inches. We got two riding saddles in here. My riding saddle's in the red truck. This is our borrowed mule Gretel. Her and her brother Hansel are going with us. We rented them. Trips with livestock bring an extra layer of complexity and excitement. We're not just organizing our hunting and camping gear, we're also ensuring that we've coordinated everything our mules need to pack us safely in and out of the backcountry. It's a team effort, and once we've hit the road, it's all about embracing the thrill and anticipation of the adventure that lies ahead. I need a pressure washer to get the mud off this mule. Today is uh, pack-in day. So we're gonna spend the next like, seven nights and eight days packed in with uh, the mules, dad, Yogi, cameraman Nick, and me. Should be a lot of fun. We have one day to hunt deer and then the rest of the week will be hunting elk, so uh, it's gonna be a good time. Wyoming embodies the spirit of the Wild West like no other place. Our destination is as off-grid as it gets. There are no trails, just raw, broken ground. We're taking off cross country that's been made even trickier by recent rain, turning everything into a slippery challenge. While the mules are made for this kind of rugged, unpredictable ground, riding a horse in these conditions can quickly turn into the unexpected, where things get as wild watch as Wyoming seat. itself. Yeah, watch his... I think he's probably, I think he's probably okay. Is he ch choked okay. anywhere? Yeah, he's just tangled. When we get up, he's gonna be fine. Oh, I know, yeah. Okay. You guys move up. Come on. He's Come here. On. Good boy. Fury has been my constant companion for his entire life. 21 years of trailblazing together, and this wreck is the worst we've ever faced. I definitely did not think that um, I'd be riding my horse again, I can tell you that. Snapped tooth off, his mouth was bleeding. I thought he was like, ribs broke, lungs punctured, you know, the worst things you can imagine. Legs snapped. Here we are, we're going. 
the bond we've forged over the years played an important role in keeping Fury calm during the chaos. And now I'm back in the saddle and he's once again carrying me into our future adventure. It's gonna be a late night, but that's all part of it. Wet saddle blankets and moonlit riding, it's just another day out west. Pursue the Wild is brought to you by Ruger and Marlin Firearms. This segment is brought to you by Night Force Optics. Rugged, reliable, repeatable. And on X Hunt, know where you stand. We made it in finally last night about right at dark. A little bit of a rough trip in with my horse accident. Um, just really grateful that number one my horse is okay and um, things could have went really bad and that number two I'm okay because he uh, rolled over on me and um, you know that's that's how things get real bad real fast so I got we both got really lucky me and my horse but we got in set up camp in the dark last night dad and I are glassing this canyon in front of us and um, we got a bull bugling can't seem to get eyes on them. There's you know, a lot of these deep drainages and timber. So I'm gonna cow call and see if he's close enough to hear my cow call. Maybe he'll answer and then I can kind of pinpoint him a little bit better. Maybe get him to step out. So give it a shot. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll try. Sounds like he's moving farther out every time he's been able to, so he might be out of might be out of earshot now. So we're gonna make our way up this ridge here where this bull's been bugling all morning and just see if we can't get a look at him inside this ridge and see if he's anything we wanna hunt. He just bugled again. You know, he spotted a really nice four point buck this morning and today happens to be the last day of deer season. And um, we're kind of sitting up in this ridge overlooking this valley, hoping to glass up this buck on the last day of season. And we just pretty much have struck out. Sun is set and um, did not find the buck. So um, it's all elk from here on out. Saw six, seven, eight, nine, ten cows tonight. Not a single bull with any of the cows. We got a bull bugling down in this draw in front of us. Haven't been able to get eyes on him, so we're just kind of slowly working our way over these um, fingers, trying to look down on him. He's straight out, but a long ways. It's really hard to get in front of an elk when they're cruising with a destination in mind, so I think we just kind of missed him, unfortunately. We've decided to break camp and make a move because we have six days still. And last time we were in here, we just really didn't get to explore a lot of new country. And I don't really want to pinhole myself to one drainage or hunting one spot when there's a lot to explore. Sure. Yeah. Good. Off we go to another Titus adventure.
we've seen out this side, we've seen out back that way we, where we came from. So yeah. there's elk in here. If things work out in the morning, we'll find an elk in the morning, and if not, we'll go back mm -hmm. to where we saw those bulls tonight. Yeah. Look at this one. The other one's bigger. This one's with cows and they're coming up onto the public. I think the other one's a little bit bigger bull. But he's letting this one have the cows, so. Yeah, what's that tell you? He's broken. Yeah, he is a bigger bull. And the, the one that was by itself is bigger than him yet, I think. He snapped the back two points off on his right, just at the top. Mm -hmm. uh, he's definitely a bigger frame ball. Than this one. Mm -hmm. I think I'd rather have a bigger frame than just a rag five. Well, then let's try to figure out how to shoot this one. Have to go to the pond yeah. pretty quickly. Yeah. Let's get going. up here and um, I think if we can break over this edge we can get you prone. Okay sounds good I'm a little worried about that sun in our face but maybe we can get behind that little juniper there and get some shade. Okay we'll try. He's 550 yards, so you need to dial 3.0. I'm ready when you are. Okay. Hit him, hit him. Reload, reload. Heart shot, you're good. Okay, you're good. Good job. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I do love you, you know. Awesome. Good shooting. <laughs> Was game on, now it's game over. <laughs> okay. Wow. Dad, give me your rifle. That's an old bull. Yeah, I see where he's from. Yeah, he's a big old bull. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Look at his front. He's, he's a, a nice bull. bull. That's an old bull. The eye guard's on him. Yeah, he's an old fighter. Now we just need to get Christy one. And Yogi. And Yogi. Lots of my yes. tags. We got lots of tags and lots of time to pack them out. The West speaks to those with a spirit of adventure offering a chance to step beyond the beaten path and boundaries of civilization. This is a land where one can immerse themselves in the untamed, experience true raw beauty of nature and the thrill of the hunt. Here amidst the rugged landscapes and vast open spaces, hunters find not just a challenge, but a profound reward in the harvest, making this journey a remarkable tale of discovery and accomplishment. Might go smoothly, might not. We're 60-40 right now. Uh, apparently they've packed. We don't know to what level, so we're about to find out. Hang on. Well, this isn't going so hot on Hansel here, so we're going to pull his pack saddle off, put it on Hank, and Hank will now be packing meat and Hansel will just pack my saddle and I will be officially a walker. Yeah. For 27 years, Hank has been our unwavering companion and go-to mule. He embodies dependability in the backcountry and is a cherished member of our family. 
As we load up Dad's bowl, we had no way of knowing this would be Hank's final journey with us. His footsteps across the badlands of Wyoming mark the end of an era. And as he packed out his last load, he took a piece of our hearts with him. Losing Hank has left a profound void. And as we reflect on the countless miles he's traveled, we remain thankful for every adventure that we had together. Pursue the Wild is brought to you by Ruger and Marlin Firearms. This segment is brought to you by Safari Club International, first for hunters. Tinks, America's number one buck lure, and Dead Down Wind, real science, real results. We are on day six packed in now, and Dad and Yogi packed Dad's bull out today. I'm still hunting. We're gonna go out and uh, pop over another drainage and see if we can't glass up a bull. Being a little picky, it's exciting. You know, we're seeing lots of elk. I'm just looking for the right elk. Nicely, so we saw some elk up on their feet tonight, and um, saw mule deer bucks, and yeah, it's a good, successful night. You see a cow in skyline right where we saw that bull yesterday. Hopefully, they come this way down into this basin to bed. At least that's what I'm hoping for. just saw two satellite bulls fighting. There's a third one in here, it's really small. I'm still not seeing the bull that I'm looking for. We've got um, three raghorns and, uh, and a cow in front of us right here. And it seems like you know, this late in the season, those bigger bulls, they're starting to peel off from the cows and kind of go their own way and they're getting a lot smarter and they're not putting themselves out to be as vulnerable as they had during the rut. Day before yesterday, Nick and I were out glassing and we saw that really good bull. You saw a good bull in that same drainage yesterday or last night, which could be the same bull. Could be, yeah. And I think we got a good plan for this morning yeah, to get up and- about a mile and a half away from here. Yeah. Oh, there's some elk down there. You see him down in the flats? Straight down there. Yeah, I see him. This bull looks like he's got one horn completely broke off or missing. And then this we, bull over here. Let's put in another bull over that side. Yeah, he, he looks big too. He's got two or three cows with him. The one that we saw the other night had two or three cows with him. So we're just gonna have a change of plan here. We can just keep working down this ridge. They must have caught a wind. Maybe one of those cows was feeding down low below us. We bumped them. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know, that's not good though, because they're gone, gone. Those elk just hit the skyline. They went up, <laughs> they went up the steepest face and over, I mean, we had to have spooked him inadvertently. I don't really know what happened, but uh, it's just hard. It's the last day of season and we had a really good plan for this bowl. It was a good trip this week. Good hunt. You got a nice bowl? Damn good bowl. I passed up a lot of elk. 
being yeah. picky. That was the exciting part about being a Wyoming resident now is this is the first time in my life I've been able to go to a spot and and really be okay with holding on to my tag and, and not just shooting the first elk I see, right. but be more have, selective. Be more yeah. selective on what I take and now we'll look back, we'll come back next year and try it again. Cheers. 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 Buffy cheers. Yeah. Thank you for watching this episode of Pursue the Wild. Jump behind the scenes with us for our podcast, Wild and Uncut, or tune into our digital lifestyle show, Our Wild Life. You can stream everything on my website, pursuethewild.com, and be sure to follow me on social media, at Christy Titus.